Have you heard that following the path of least resistance is bad for you? Not if you're a company. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can up your game as an entrepreneur and improve your professional skills. Taking the path of least resistance suggests choosing a way forward that has the least amount of struggle, the least amount of fight in it. If you're a new business, the path of least resistance is equivalent to choosing the market where you're most likely to succeed. In business strategy, it is known as the beachhead market. Beachhead market, this is the first market that you will choose to occupy. Occupying this market will give you the advantages and the capabilities to expand to other markets later on. The term beachhead actually comes from military strategy. If an army wants to invade an enemy's territory, and this territory has water access, that army general will most likely choose a beachhead strategy. Executing this strategy will require securing the beach or the shore and then using the secured piece of land to deploy troops and machinery that will facilitate the expansion into the enemy's territory. Let's look at the example of Amazon. I remember when Amazon was still a forest, but now it's better known as the e-commerce empire that Jeff Bezos managed to create. Amazon is huge, it's bigger than life, but the question is, how did they get there? And can we replicate their success for our company? Amazon didn't start off by trying to occupy all of the e-commerce business, as they do now. It would have been too difficult and too expensive for them to make this attempt. Not to mention, if they did this, it would have drawn too much attention so Amazon could have been crushed by the competitors at the time. For all these reasons, Amazon decided to focus on books only. They wanted to become the go-to place for buying books online. This would be the starting point, their beachhead market. However, although an online business, their beachhead market also has a certain geographic focus at the very beginning of their business existence. Amazon started off in Seattle. And Seattle is the best place where they could have started. Why Seattle, you may ask? According to data, from all people in the United States, people in Seattle read most books. Books are not a seasonable product. It could be because the weather of Seattle, it's a bit unpredictable, so people may choose to stay at home with a nice book. Besides, something else Seattle is known for are their book clubs, and also people's tendency to read books in cafes. This allowed people to discuss not only the book itself, but also where the book was purchased from. This opened the door to word-of-mouth communication, which added to the free marketing Amazon was getting, and then Amazon of course started to benefit from all that free marketing. Okay, but how do you go about choosing your own beachhead market? It's simple, let's look at the following steps. First. The customers within the market must all buy similar products. You do not want to provide variations of the product or allow for product customization at the early phases of the business development, because this adds to the operation cost. Second, the customers within the market have a similar sales cycle and expect products to provide value in similar ways. And finally, Word-of-mouth communication exists between customers in the market. For example, existing customers serve as high-value references for potential customers. It makes your customer acquisition very cheap or technically free. It was simple, right? Just only those three steps. Wait, are you saying that these three simple points are enough to help me find the best beachhead market out of so many countries around the world? Well, these are certainly good points to get you started and you are set on the right direction, but you may consider the following extra questions as well, which I share just with you. Consider whether the customers in that location have enough money to pay for your product or service. Can you easily get the product to the customer or is it difficult to access the customer? Do you have a strong value proposition? This is, do you provide enough reasons for the customer to buy that product or service from you? 
Can you satisfy the customer's expectations in that particular location? We know some people are more picky than others and that's also true for locations. Is there any competition in that market that can block you out from your customers? And you should consider competition from the perspective of the customers, from the eyes of the customers. It could be real or perceived competition. Last but not least, if you are to win this market, does it make any sense for you strategically in the longer term for the development of the business? Would you acquire new skills and knowledge that will help you to go ahead and occupy other markets afterwards? Now that you know what Beachhead Market is and that you saw it in action, boosting Amazon's business growth prospects, you can go ahead and select your own Beachhead Market for the product or service of your choice. But before you go ahead with doing that, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel as there will be more business tips coming along the way. And that's all from your boy Stoyan, peace out!